Look, guys, I'm sorry. I don't know how to introduce this story at all. So, um, rate it R. <laughs> uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you at the end of the video. <laughs> what else is there to add? <laughs> I don't know. This gets really bad, guys. You will see, all right? I'm on a Beast Men campaign where every time I win a battle, I have to stop and jack off to the fantasy of being a part of my winning army and raping females of the defeated army's race. For example, when I defiled Middenheim, I masturbated while I imagined myself railing a priestess of Ulrich right on his holy altar, right before a statue of Ulrich so he could see her getting her womb jackhammered by a minotaur cock. Then I combed in her, and raised her up and carried her around using the fluids leaking from her pussy to put out the candles and incense. Jesus Christ, what story are you making me read? I thought it was funny. This campaign has been going on for three months now, and I'm only on turn 73. I don't know if I should stop it when 12.12 .12 patch drops. Based Coomer, do you poo poo and pee pee when you're done wanking to add to the roleplay? No, because I can't shit or piss on a man the same way I can get a hard on. I do come up with names and backstories for the girls I rape in my fantasies though, and sometimes I come up with entire lives for them, so it feels like it's more meaningful and corrupting when they get a shot full of beastman seed. In the case of female lords, I have pre-turned saves turned on. When I defeated a dark elf dreadlord, I realised it was one of the starter ones, so I went backwards in time, in three turn increments, so I could build up her backstory of being this badass who had not just survived and thrived in Nagardon's cutthroat society, eventually working her way up to being allowed to recruit from Malaketh's own black guard. Then she sees her mighty warhost get pounced on by three beastmen's stacks, and goes from honoured general to just another cum bucket. I had her cry out of shame while I plied her in the grass beside a pit of her dead soldiers. It was pretty great. Tell me more. Alright, you asked for it. I had a fight where I had to fight Luen with Fey Enchantress reinforcing him while I only had one stack. I managed to win this because this was pretty early on and Fey Enchantress was rolling with almost all peasants for some reason and a couple of charges from the sides blew out their morale and caused a mass rout. Because there were so many survivors, due to many of them mass riding while almost at full strength, I tailored the fantasy so that my underlings had captured a lot of the fleeing peasant conscripts ostensibly for eating, but I would, in a rare instance of beastmen hospitality, allow some to leave alive and kind of unharmed if the Fey Enchantress would get me off without me needing to force her physically. Every second that she dithered would be one peasant's head lopped off his shoulders or neck bitten into by hungry ungors. I imagine her getting more and more desperate as my bray shaman made his way down the line of prisoners, shanking, chopping at a steadily rate. All the time Lewin was watching, as well as all the captives, and initially they were shouting encouragement in their shitty accents about how she should don't give in to that foul creature, but the more of them got executed and immediately started getting eaten, the less encouragements were shouted. For my part, I just stood looming over her, while the don't give ins turned to pleas for mercy, denied, and acquiescence acquired. She starts off floating a bit higher and begins rubbing my cock with her feet. What are you making me read? <laughs> here is when I actually started touching myself. Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Everything before here was just me sitting still with my eyes closed. Eventually, I come on her face and the aphrodisiac and brainwashing sex musk of big beastman dick made her do more and more until I had the fey enchantress mating pressed against the grass while the King of Bretonia and the remains of her army watched speechless as their enchantress moaned from Beastcock, heading for Norska next. Holy fucking beast! Are you a real person or is this just shitposting? Okay, that's it. I'm starting a Kazakh campaign. I'm actually erect from reading this fucking base coom post. <laughs> <laughs> Very good post. I didn't mind the earlier shit flinging, but this, this frightens me. Holy fuck! Beastmen players are truly the most intelligent people on this general. Sigmar, protect us. Peak autism anon, well done. Beast, beast chat by Sigmar. I thought it was ironic ship hosting, but now I'm not so sure anymore. You better stay the fuck away from Ulthan. Oh, well, he's gonna have a lot of fun when he gets All else. This is ironic, right? <laughs> right, bros? Finger guns. Boop, <laughs> Heading for Norska next. 
Oh, no, 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 Norska bros. What do we do? He's coming to take our women. Also fucking beast. Bruh, moment. Why, well, yes, I do play beast men. How could you tell? This whole thread is going in the book. Sigmar. No, because I can't shit or piss on demand. I had her cry. It was pretty great. Heading for Norska next. The real human being. This thread by Tal. This thread. It's just incredible. He actually delivered. It's even worse and more disturbing and also more intriguing than the last two posts. Is this TWG's most base coomer? All those casuals getting shocked over some beast rape. Well, truth be told, at the beginning I was doing that too. Just for the roleplay. Shamefully, I don't actually have any scat or gore fetishes. And personally, I prefer light femdom. But I thought it would be interesting and experimental to do this beast men roleplay. So here we are. I'm usually very committed to projects once I begin and don't half-ass it, but I find that it was a lot more difficult to actually reach climax when I was fantasizing about me eating the girls or killing them somehow during the intercourse. After the first three battles, I gave up on it and went hard on the rape, impregnation, mind break and light physical abuse instead. In my head canon, my control over my herd is so authoritarian I can have the beast woman help take care of the human slash elf woman I got pregnant to assuage my shadow guilt over the whole thing. I like to think I'm the most cultured a beast man can get without ceasing to be a beast man altogether. Shamefully. Bro, I don't think shame is an issue for you. <laughs> yeah. Oh, he's got no concept no. of it. Light femdom. Fucking beast. I prefer light femdom. Might as well just come out of the closet at this point. <laughs> And he just keeps going. Most cultured a beast man can get. Cultured? <laughs> cultured. That's one word to use for it. Fuck, okay, okay, okay. Whatever you want to call it. Most cultured a beast man can get. Using the fluids leaking from her pussy to put out every candle. <laughs> Plowing her next into a pit of dead soldiers. Begins rubbing my cock with her feet. Most cultured. <laughs> this shit right here is why we need Nagash. In the name of Jesus Christ, our God and Lord, strengthened by the intercession of the Immaculate Virgin, Mary, Mother of God, of Blessed Michael the Archangel, of the Blessed Apostles Peter and Paul and all the saints, and powerful in the holy authority of our ministry, we confidently undertake to repulse the attacks and deceits of the devil. God arises, his enemies are scattered, and those who hate him flee before him, as smoke is driven away, so are they driven. As wax melts before the fire, so the wicked perish at the presence of God. Welcome to 4 Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> fuck me. I don't know, fuck. That's... Why'd you make me read this? <laughs> I don't know. I thought it was going to follow you when I found it. You didn't it. read it, did you? Oh, no, I did. I did. I, saw it. I was like, you know, and I found a really good fucking Kimmer Beastman. I was like, mate, I've already got the thumb here. How could you not? Okay. I thought it was enjoyable anyway. Like, I hope you guys enjoyed it. I Like, I haven't really done a good Kimmer story before. Kim. Beast Kim. <laughs> yeah, this, this guy knows how to Kim. Like, honestly, I, I, I fear to imagine, like, you know, we've all got these, like, weird things behind closed doors. God knows what the fuck people are actually like. Like, you know, who the fuck are these people? Yeah. You know, I really want to know, like, who the fuck this person actually is. But then again, you kind of don't. No, I don't want to know who he is yeah, at all. Yeah, I think I'd rather not. Hundred percent, I don't want to know. I'm, who I'm pretty he sure is. I know a few of the boys from the Discord. I wouldn't be shocked if it was Belcher. <laughs> 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 Fuck it, is, Belcher. Let's be serious. Well, like as always, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Although I don't know if that's the right word to use for this one. It was interesting. So, like as always, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Let us know what you think. All like, that... comment, subscribe. Yeah, all that all good yeah. stuff. And. Uh, We'll get back to something a bit more... What would be the right word? So maybe not... Tasteful? Tasteful, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, tasteful would be a good word. Anyway, look, guys, we kept you long enough. Hope you guys enjoyed. We'll see you later. Bye! Bye.